What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be taking a practice test for the CBSA entrance exam. Now I did take this test, the real test, over a year ago and I was unsuccessful at the time. Next time it opens up, I'm going to be able to take it again and try again. That's why I want to practice and try to work on some of the parts that I was unsuccessful in. They basically grade the entire exam into four separate categories and you have to pass with a certain percentage for each category to pass the entire exam. So it does suck if you do fail at one part, but it helps you know what you need to work on. So what I need to work on is the word problems. And I know with this practice test, there should be a few. So for the real CBSA entrance exam, you have about two and a half hours to answer a little over 200 multiple choice questions. For this practice test, it gives you eight minutes to answer 12 multiple choice questions. And hopefully this is gonna be really close or really similar to what's on the actual entrance exam because I want to get a little bit more practice before I end up taking that exam again whenever they do open it. I'm also gonna leave this link down in the description below so you can take this practice exam as well if you want to get a little bit of practice for it. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna bring it up on the screen here. So this is the practice test right here. I have it paused as of right now, and it's gonna give you a total of eight minutes. So I'm gonna start it back up here. I'm gonna start with question one. So question one, which two words have the same meaning? Shirt, shoes, pants, trousers? Uh, I'm gonna say C and D, pants and trousers. Now you might think to yourself, that is kind of an easy question, but it's some of the word questions that are going to be on the exam. Now they're gonna be a little bit harder on the actual exam, that one's kind of easy, but it's just gonna be very similar things like that on the exam for the word problems. Next one here, which of the following words is the odd one out? Intercept, stop, seize, catch, mislay. I'm gonna say mislay. Now I'll be honest with you guys, for the actual exam, the word problems are what got me. Everything else I got with a 90 or 80%, I passed them with. With the word problems, I only got a 60%, which is why I failed the entire thing. Select the pair that refers most directly to a single concept. Car ground, plane sky, train tracks, balloon sky, boat, water. I'm going to say train tracks. That to me is one single concept. Uh, this one here. Basically, you're going to find and say which one or which column is correct. So you're going to have an original list here. I know it's a little bit hard to see. They should have had the fonts a little bit darker. But it says the original list. And it says for this one here, which looks right. You have their area code, I believe, which looks right. Their name, which looks right. And the population. So... I'm going to say no column is incorrect because it looks right to me. They're going to put trick questions like this on the actual exam where there's no mistakes, but they want to ask you what is the mistake. This one here, how many pairs of the following groups and letters are exactly alike? So this is kind of a trick question. They might be the same uh, letters, but in different orders, but they're asking for which ones are exactly alike and which means they have to be in the exact same order. So I'm going to say bottom one is one. Second from the bottom, that's two. This one's wrong. This one's wrong. This one's wrong. I'm going to say two. That looks the most correct to me. Next, which... Uh, what is the numbers missing in the pattern? Blank, 16, 32, 64, 1, 28, 256. I'm going to say 8 and 5, 12. I normally suck at those questions, but that one is fairly easy. Uh, while working nights, one of your co-workers approaches you and asks you to donate $200 to a charity event. You feel you donate to enough charities at home and you don't feel comfortable donating any money. What is the most appropriate response? I'm just looking at these here. Uh, I'm gonna say explain that you don't that that you donate to charities at home and you can't donate to any more at this time. B. 
basically it's kind of like a conflict resolution question. Uh, this one here is a tricky one and you're going to get tricky ones like this. So you have to match one of these images, A, B, C, or D to this one up here. Right away, D's out. The corners here and here look thicker. Uh, A is out because these look bigger than that. C's out because in the middle of the arrows looks thinner. I'm going to say B. Next, you are going to get maps like this on the exam. There's likely usually one question or one map. And it will show you, ask you multiple questions on what is the most direct route from one area of the airport to the next area. Because in airports, there's certain times and certain areas that you can cross certain runways. So this one looks fairly simple. Uh, west on R12. Uh, that's wrong. We have to go east. So east on R13. Uh, south on 6. I'm going to say that one, east on R13, south on R6, east on R12. It seemed pretty easy. Maybe I misjudged it. Next, these questions, there are going to be a few of them on the actual exam. So what you're going to have to do, I've already read this ahead of time because I know it's going to take a long time for me to read it for a video, but I'm just going to explain it. You're basically going to have to read all of this and there are certain exceptions of It'll ask questions and it'll be based on what can people bring in at what times and what do they have to pay and how much amount of money and that sort of thing uh, can, to cross the border with. So the easiest way to answer these questions in a timely manner for the exam is to read the question and then go back and read whatever article um, it had it wanted you to read and try to find the question it's asking within the article. That's the easiest way than just reading the article and trying to remember it. So for this one here, uh, which of the following are, are statements are true according to this? So you're going to look at the question, the three statements here, and you're going to see which one you believe are true. So if it says it above, that must be true. And you're going to answer the question. Since I've already done it, I know both A and C are correct, but that's how you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to read this article, answer questions. My tip is to read the question that it's asking and then trying to find it in the article. That's the easiest way with the least amount of time that it may take you to do this. Back up to the top here, hit next. I have two minutes left. Uh, select the choice that has the first letter and the last letter of the sentence below. So you basically have to unscramble a word, uh, a sentence. Now for this practice test, they made it kit very simple. So there's a capital on Canada, which should be capitalized, but there's a capital. So I know that's going to be the start. And there is a period after illegally on the actual exam. There's not going to be any capitalization on any of the words, and there's not going to be a period at the end of any word. So it's going to be you having to scramble it up. And some of them can be scrambled and put in an actual sentence multiple ways. So you have to figure what's the best. But I know this one here is C and Y. I have one minute left. Some automobiles are gas guzzlers. All gas guzzlers are expensive to own. So I know this one here is some expensive things to own are automobiles. That question is one that it, it's a wordplay question and you will see those on your exam. So I'm going to hit done here and see what my results are. Hopefully good. I'm actually shocked right now. Um, I got 12 out of 12 correct for this practice test, 100%, which I was not expecting. I know for the exam, it's going to, like I said, break it down into four parts, where each part you have to pass with at least a 70% each. For this practice test, I got 100%, which was awesome. I was hoping for around 80 to 90%, so 100%, I will take it. I answered everything right. So my tips for the exam, if whenever it does open up and you do take it, Take your time, read the questions. Some are going to be wordplay questions, some are going to be tricky, and some they're trying to make you guess the wrong answer. So just try to work it through and try to do it in a timely manner. So I'm going to leave this links down below so you guys can try out the practice exam for yourself. It 
seem to be a little bit easy, but it is to me exactly what you're going to see for the actual exam, except the actual actual exam might be a little bit more harder than what this practice test was. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this has helped you prepare a little bit for your entrance exam for CBSA whenever you do take it. If that is what your goal is, I'm going to leave this link down below. Please take care. Peace.